Hey, what up everybody? It's Kenji Onozawa, and I am here at the SMC Seattle May event, and uh, I found a guy you might want to listen to. His name is Jason Preston. Very cool guy. I actually met him at a wrestling event. Weird, but very cool. So, uh, yeah, so here's Jason Preston. That was a good event, by the way. That was, that, that was a fun was some, event. Uh, some, I, is this the first live wrestling event I've ever been to? Oh, me as well. And we can so, all thank uh, Andrew Edwards for right, bridging Andrew, that gap in our soul. He, the man is <laughs> man loves wrestling deep in his heart. So, uh, but yeah, J Jason, you're at the social media club event for uh, May. What brings you out? Uh, honestly, it's just a cool crowd. Um, that's, I mean, like, that's 90% of why anybody does anything in, in real life anyway, right? It's sure. To come hang out with cool people. Um, and it's one of the things about Seattle in particular, uh, and the social media tech space within Seattle, mm -hmm. is it, it's such a rich subculture. I think it's, in a way, uh, this is going to sound a little bit, um, what's called, so sociological, um, but it's sort of supplanted in uh, the grunge subculture, in a way, in defining Seattle as we've grown up with tech companies and Microsoft and then everybody at Microsoft got rich and stopped and did their own thing mm -hmm. and that sort of evolved into social media um, but this is just a cool gathering and uh, you know the material is always good and I, I you know people who are, are running it are, are, they know what they're doing yeah and, uh, uh, yeah, absolutely. That's, that's why I'm here. Hey, they got beer too. That's I right, mean, and beer is good. Although they they didn't have beer for a few minutes, I heard. Yeah, but well, we By could. By the think... time I got back there, they had beer, so it was all good. <laughs> so we're we're all happy now. And <laughs> it would be a mess if there was no beer. So thank you, Rachel and uh, Lindy. Um, I don't know. You know so <laughs> all right. So um, wondering how you're involved in social media. I know it's actually you're a right, new so, media manager. Uh, yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm at the Parnassus Group. Okay. And we're a um, sort of an all-purpose shop. It's sort of it's morphed over time. We started out in 2004. We actually did the very first uh, event for blogging event for business called the Blog Business Summit. Mm -hmm. um, and we were doing events for a couple of years at the Blog Business Summit. It was a big hit, and uh, companies kept coming to us and asking, you know, hey, this is all great. Can you help us? execute on some of the social media stuff. Can you help us get into this space? So then we started ending, we started doing sort of consulting gigs. Uh, we worked with um, uh, Boeing to do a, a couple of uh, uh, really cool private jet flights mm -hmm. for, uh, to, you know, promote the in-flight, their in-flight, what was it called? Um, it was called Connection. Okay. Uh, Boeing Service Connection. Uh, and it was a uh, uh, really cool time working with companies to help get into social media, built some blogs. Um, just recently built LeVar Burton's blog, actually. That was fun. No kidding. Um, Jordy LaForge? That's right. Nice. One of the same. And, um, but we've since moved sort of out of the consulting space uh, and more into reporting, sentiment reports, mm -hmm. is actually our chief um, uh, business right now. Okay. Um, we sort of stumbled on a system which lets us do really accurate automated sentiment at a pretty low price, um, and it turns out to be you know, really useful um, mm -hmm. if you're a product manager and you've just you know you've got a you know especially consumer electronics. We love consumer electronics. You know, let's say you've launched the new GearShift 9000, and you want to know what the bloggers are saying, what's on Twitter, what the reaction is. Uh, that's what we do. We go through, we collect that data, um, put it together into a report, and it to Ship it off wherever it needs to go. So at this point, largely what we're getting into, it's kind of interesting to watch how, how the social media space develops into something that is measurable, mm -hmm. so companies can look at their, their efforts, look at their ROI, decide if they're doing something useful or not. Mm -hmm. I think that's really, uh, I think, what that's an area that I think is really in development and, and I, really important, frankly, if you're a business. You need to know, especially now, you need to know where your money's going, where your time's going. Wow. So uh, yeah, um, Jason's definitely some, uh, an authority in social media around here. I mean, you're you're at Ignite. You you had a. I did, I did an Ignite talk. You're going down I don't to know the if Twitter the conference. Up yet, but, uh, well, actually, we're putting on the Twitter conference. That is you're put, our... Okay, he's he's behind. He's everywhere. But basically, that's it. Jason <laughs> is the glue. Behind things and popping I up. mean, he, yeah, just so definitely a guy that you should talk to. Um, now, what? How did you get into social media? It was. Uh, 
actually sort of accidental, I mean, I guess. Um, I, I started blogging in 2001 on LiveJournal, which some people say isn't blogging, but really it's blogging. Um, and, uh, and from there, I graduated to WordPress when I started tinkering with, uh, you know, setting up my own site and everything like that. And uh, that's when I got hired as an intern doing basically blogging. Okay. Um, and I blogged for a number of spots, including uh, like the Escapist magazine. Uh, I actually ran my own video game blog for a while. I love video games. Um, and uh, so just sort of, just by, by nature of my interests, I ended, I ended up learning a lot about a space that was very new. And mm -hmm. It turned out to be fairly interesting for businesses. And I mean, uh, you know, once I graduated college and went looking for jobs, mm -hmm. it was sort of a natural fit. So you've been kind of involved in this, uh, <laughs> this space for a while. Hi, um, Brian. What, what has surprised you about how, where social media is now? I mean, um, that's a good question. I think um, one, one of the things that's really um, surprising to me is the, the shift towards, um, I guess, surprising real time. Like, mm -hmm. it's, it's really interesting to me how much emphasis I'm seeing right now on services that are real time, mm -hmm. things that are real time. I think the direction that I expect, and I, I think it's still going to go this way, um, uh, but I was expecting things to, to, to curve towards, back towards real world interaction. Mm -hmm. I mean, stuff like the social media, I mean, this is, this is sold out, so right. clearly it's a big deal. Um, but real time is, again, it's an abstraction of real world interaction. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if I'm getting too academic for, the, for a short video clip, but um, <laughs> but I'm, I'm a little I'm a little surprised that there isn't more emphasis towards person-to-person uh, -person interaction. I know I know there is some shifting back to that, but you know, being in the conference game and, and you know paying a lot of attention to the conference space, it's you know the conference business is not what it used to be, mm -hmm. um, and. Uh, you know, it's really, it's, it's much more about, um, you know, because all the information is available online. You know, you used to go to a conference to learn something, and mm -hmm. now it's more about hanging out. But I, I'm, I'm, I was expecting, I still am expecting, a big emphasis on people coming together in the real world. So it's a little surprising to me that, that there's so much focus on, we can still do every, we can do all these real world things in real time, separately. And it's like, I'm waiting for it to come back together. I could be wrong, but... Uh, very cool, very cool. So, one last question, getting to know the the real Jason Preston. Uh -oh. Big gamer, best game you're currently playing? Counter-Strike Source. Really? Yeah, I'm a Counter-Strike boy. I've been playing it since it came out, since, well, I should refrain. Since Counter-Strike was beta 2.0 for the original Half-Life, I've been playing Counter-Strike. Wow. It's and, and the thing is about video games is I generally don't finish them. I know um, I know a good game because I finish it. So greatest game of all time, Tie Fighter. For wow. The, for the PC, Tie Fighter. Absolutely. You're going way back. Um, but uh, you know it, it it joins a short list of games that I've actually finished. And you can never finish Counter Strike, but I'm still playing it. It's been what nine years. Who we? Oh, so, you're getting your money's worth. <laughs> yeah. So I don't, and I just I don't know. It's just it's so complex. It's so interesting how how, how many layers there are to that game. It's just it never, you know, no two experiences. Uh, you, you never play the same round twice. Very cool. So people can find you on Twitter at Jason P one zero seven. One zero seven. Yep. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time. Absolutely. Thanks. Man. All right.